Welcome back to River City Live. So did you guys know this? Springfield was one of the original burbs here in Jacksonville, and it has had like a lot of up and down movements. If it you really has. And for the last 40 years, they've undergone multiple changes to entice people to come back to that community. Yep. So I discovered, recently discovered, uh, Springfield has created, uh, gone to great lengths to implement that goal and bring people more into the area and check out the history. Welcome back to the Springfield neighborhood that you've heard about. On the corner of 1st and Main, Springfield has a bit of a new look, saying hello to visitors and to members of the community. Well, this is a new Welcome to Springfield mural that we paid for with the proceeds of last year's Jacksonville Porch Fest. We were able to install it here thanks to Alyssa Key, who's the owner of this building, which is known as Main Space. She's in the process of renovating it. And we were thrilled to have local artist Grant Thornton uh, come through as the muralist on this project. With an initial goal to incorporate arts and culture into the neighborhood's revitalization, this mural helps with that, but it also holds a special meaning. We thought it was a good time for this mural because this year we're welcoming a whole lot of new businesses to Main Street, more in 2017 than we've seen probably in total over the last five years. And so this is a great way that we can install some public art, celebrate what's happening on Main Street, and also tell the history of Springfield. We included a lot of iconic images and buildings in this piece of art. If you don't know what those historical or Springfield references are, the tutorial begins now. We have our uh, 1869 sign, which shows the date that Springfield was established as Jacksonville's first subdivision. Give me, give me more. We have the Clutho emblem that represents Spar, but that also Henry Clutho used to um, show people that he had designed a particular building. One of his buildings is featured, the Clutho Apartments that are now home of Operation New Hope, and several other well-known houses, including the Drew Mansion that sits on Clutho Park. And then? The flowers were the artist's idea, but they do reflect some of the uh, flora that we have in the neighborhood. We have lots of magnolia trees here. Uh, he also added some palm trees. Uh, he added some Canadian geese. In case you haven't noticed, we have a lot of Canadian geese who love Clutho Park so much. They stay there all year long. They don't migrate. And uh, then he also added a couple of chickens after some of our neighbors uh, reminded us about the uh, pack of feral chickens that roams around Springfield just around the corner from here. So those were added to the mural as well. Nice. Besides adding the aforementioned new businesses, SPAR has even more activities planned for the neighborhood that will definitely make visiting worthwhile. An event that will start in 2017 in April, second Sundays in Springfield. We'll be back in Clutho Park, another free event featuring uh, not the 25 bands we have at Porch Fest, but one or two great local bands every month along with food trucks and some other vendors. It'll be a family uh, focused event and it's co-sponsored by the City of Jacksonville's Parks Department. So they'll have some recreational activities going on at the same time. It will be from four to eight o'clock uh, again on the second Sunday of every month. Christina says none of this would have been possible without the neighborhood working together the last 40 years and says a slight shift in focus has also been helpful in Springfield's revitalization. We started to focus a little more on the events and using art and cultural culture as that tool for community development and it brought people to the neighborhood from other parts of town and raised awareness. Now lots of things were happening in the neighborhood but people weren't hearing as much about the good things. They would hear about negative things and so there was this idea that Springfield might not be a place that you want to live. And what I'm proudest of, um, as far as things that have happened since I've been in the neighborhood, is how that perception of the neighborhood has changed. Well, I'm all in. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. All about the arts and culture that, uh, down there in Springfield. So they're having an event Friday to dedicate the mural. It's going to have the artist and Wayne Wood's going to be there discussing the history of the neighborhood. Great family event. Go out and show your support. Well, there you go. A lot going on. If you want to learn more about Springfield and all the events coming up, go to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click the As Seen on River City Live. And we'll be back with more from the Avenues Mall.